I just want to say sorry. I owe you a play date. Let's start with that. Yes, um, you do. We, we were texting. We have the same hair guy, Robert Ramos. Robert Ramos, and, amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. And he was like, you two are so silly. Y'all should hang out. And he told each of this, this. And then we, we, we were. And I got really excited. I was like, I yeah, we have. So anyway, I was like, this is going to be great. And I texted her. I was so excited. I'm like, <laughs> when can we do this? I'm totally available. All I do is, you know, this, play with my kids. And she was like. This was like last May, and she was like, well, my first day off is like Christmas. <laughs> no, I, and, I, and, and I was like, I literally told Robert, I was like, she's gonna think I'm blowing her off. And I'm, and I was like, I'm not blowing you off. I just, I literally have no days off. No, it's I great. don't. You do, you really, and congratulations yeah. on everything. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. But when so we funny. have a play date, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. I'm gonna make I'm up for it. <laughs> We're gonna do so many amazing things. No, but you and you and Ryan Gosling, y'all have two yes, kids, right? We have two little girls. Yes. Are you excited about Halloween? We are, but it's kind of like Halloween in our house every day. Me too. My kids right? were co what we're the hell? hell? What? Oh my God, that's so old. Look at him. It's so, he's so cute. Oh. Yes. He's, he's got the notebook. Oh. He's got Noah. No, but um, our kids are the same. They're literally constantly in They're costumes. They're constantly dressing up, and our yeah. kids are obsessed with Wizard of Oz and Dorothy, oh, so yeah. they've been Dorothy every year. So we're like, maybe we could do like a bloody Dorothy, like I can just put some blood on you or something. Because really, Dorothy, again, you want to like, you know. But it's kind of awesome, because what my daughter did was tell me she wanted to be Princess in Black. We're reading these books, and I, there is okay. no costume for that. I had to make it happen and well, put it all together great. with all my free time, Ava. Right. And then she was like, never mind, I want to be Anna. And I'm like, <laughs> and then I get on and she's like, I don't know, Wonder Woman. I'm like, you're going to wear it. I'm like, Which <laughs> my one? daughter changes her mind all the time, oh, our five-year-old. Yeah. I would love it if she wanted to be Dorothy every Halloween. Every Halloween. It's magical. <laughs> so what's she going with? You don't know. I have no idea. Right. She can wear a sheet for all I care and be a ghost <laughs> at this point. I am past Are it. you the kind of mom, like, do you make the thing? You don't Hell make Hell no, I get on Etsy with all those mamas that have time to that make stuff. That have time stuff. to make it. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, okay, so I love this. Um, Garth Brooks actually did this too, but so you put your life, your, your career kind of on hold to become a parent. That was really important to you. And I, yes. did you, when did you realize, wait, I picked the way harder job? Uh, well, you know, uh, every day. Um, and people are so sweet, they really try to like, warn you, prep you when you're mm. pregnant, but nobody can prep you, nobody. No. And nobody told me it was gonna really be a job, and a job that I needed an incredible amount of like, skill for. And patience. Like in different areas. Yeah. A chauffeur, yeah. a cook, <laughs> a personal assistant to an abusive boss. Yes, um, amen. Um, they don't they, appreciate it. No, they don't. They're not grateful. I know. Oh my God, do they get grateful? Does that happen at some point? <laughs> Um, do they become grateful? I'm like, I didn't know I needed to. I agree. In any other profession, you would need to take a test or pass test. Yeah. The only test I had to pass was a pregnancy test. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. Nailed it. Right? Nailed it. <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you think the hardest part is, though? Because I have my thing. What's your thing, the hardest part? Hardest part, part hands down. I think we agree. Is the amount of snacks I have to carry with me <laughs> all day long. I'm like, and the variety. You feel like a Sherpa, <laughs> just going up the mountain totally. with everyone's crap. Totally. Like, yeah. Totally. Yeah. And you need variation. You need they variety. They all like something different. They, they like something different. Oh. And you need to keep it like fresh because they're like, nah, especially on long car rides. Yeah. Those are the worst. But even like going to the market, we're like going to the market, but I need to take food in the car to go to the market. Exactly. We are gonna get along so well on this play date. <laughs> this play date oh is gonna be. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm telling you, it literally, it's upsetting. And then for me, I don't like to be surrounded by food all the time. I'm like, I'm yeah. start eating it. And I'm like, I can't, I'm well, starting yeah. to resent my children <laughs> yeah. for the amount of caloric intake that's happening. All right, well, how would you describe your parenting style? Like, how yes. is that at your house? Is it the same? or different? Uh, it's, it's the same. We're very controlling. Very, very controlling. Yeah. We are, I think what the term is, we're always like laughing at these terms. I think we would be a bulldozing parent. 
You know, oh. have you heard of the bulldozers? No, but I might be one. That's why I don't okay, know about yeah. it. I, yeah. Well, well I, I heard of the term helicopter parenting. Helicopter have you guys yes. heard that? I'm like, well, what else are we supposed to do? They're like this big. We have to be on top of them every second. Or the, your house will flood or yes. be set on fire. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally the stakes are really high. So yeah, I'm a helicopter parent. And then I heard the bulldozing and I'm like, ooh, I'm probably a bulldozing parent too. <laughs> like A, B, C, and D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All <laughs> like of I'm it. All of them. Well, how yeah. is how is being a mom changed your sense of style? Oh my gosh. Well, I went through a period where there was just no sense of style or sense of self, really. Yeah. yeah. I kind of lost myself a little I bit. I might there. be there right now, but I don't know. <laughs> so many jobs. <laughs> I'm just coming out of the, uh, you know, it was funny because I started this line at New York and Company six years ago. There's a lot of dresses like this that kind of feel like you're wearing a t-shirt, like yeah. a shirt dress. I love this. Yeah, but, yeah. And, and you have a little bit of like, you know, you can style it up or style it down. Yeah. Um, but comfort, comfort is what's changed. Before you I would have to suffer. wash, you have to be able to wash it too. Yes. That's, That's really the thing because you get stains. Yes. My kids' food, yes. they just all of a sudden, yes. I'm like, cool, this wasn't expensive. Right. <laughs> like, well, cool. that's the thing is our fabrics are made to be machine washable. That's really important for me because yeah. it, it has to be. I honestly don't remember the last time I went to the dry cleaners. That's like, that's bougie. That's like, <laughs> that's like old me dry cleaners. It's <laughs> that's just my like, 20s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. Well, we've got a few women in the audience wearing Ava's designs. Let's say hi to them. Where is Monet? I ran into you earlier. Oh, my yes. God. Like what works for you with this outfit? Oh my, it's so comfortable and it's yeah. very stretchy. Love, I'm sorry. We're going to his sister's uh, 40th birthday party next month. Yeah. So this, the party's gonna be all about me, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look good. You look so good. I look good. Yeah. Really, yeah. such a goddess. When I see something like this, this is our Melinda sweater dress and oh. I love a sweater dress me and stuff. Too. But what I love about the dress too is that it's, a, it's elegant. It's like, yeah. it doesn't show too much up here. Yes. You have a nice cut right here. It shows that moment. I mean, okay. <laughs> <Everything> <laughs> No. Everything back there. No, that back there. No, but it's so like it's just so it's so beautiful and you really I mean thank my gosh. You, Ava. Thank you're you. just drop dead gorgeous. Thank awesome. You. Well thank, thank you, Monet. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Where's Daniela? Daniela. Oh, oh, Daniela. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Daniela, this is what I lived in. Because when I find something that works for me, I live in it. Like, does that happen to you now as a mom? Yes, I like, get I in, like, just all live the in colors. it for like three weeks straight, every yeah. day. Yeah. And I lived in this for like three weeks this straight every day. So you know why? Because it hugs in at the waist, and I need it that. It hugs at the waist. You can that. tuck it in or tuck it out. And there's a, still a soft pant. There's a little stretch mm -hmm. to it. And then I just yes. love a plaid. You're I can't. You're so cute, Daniela. I know. I love a plaid. And you're a mom too, right? Yes. Yeah, you I'm, said you had two little girls? I'm a mom of two girls. I just had a baby four months ago. Oh, oh my yeah. God, that's <laughs> right. You look so candy. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats on the baby. You look amazing. Four months. And where's Monica at? Monica. Oh, Hi. Yes, Monica. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I love so it. tell us about what Monica's wearing. Well, this is the Estelle sweater set. I love a sweater set, especially for fall. I love a sweater set, a sweater dress, with boots, without boots. But she's wearing this beautifully, and I love, did you do your, your own jewels here? Oh, I had a stylist. Oh, you have a stylist, okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You look gorgeous. Because you look just good. so beautiful. And again, with the elegance, accentuating the waist, and obviously you have such a beautiful body, but it's still, you know, something you can wear to work. And then maybe take off the jacket later on. When you mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Ava. So, you know, we like to do a lot of day to night clothes. Absolutely. So this is a great example it's of that. Awesome. I love and it. And you're I so beautiful. It. Nicely <laughs> done, Ava. Well, those looks are great. Thank I love y'all. Thank you for modeling them for us. Wow. Well done, Ava. I love Thank your you. line. Thank you. It would fit my figure off. Check out the Ava Mendez collection at New York and Company.